developing right now in Montgomery County. A 16-year-old boy is in jail charged with raping a teenage girl. And police say all of this happened right outside a county courthouse. And now the victim in that case has died. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live in Rockville with the story you'll see only on 7. Kevin. Hi there, Kimberly. 16-year-old Marquise Turner was out on a date on Friday night when he was walking with his date by the circuit courthouse here. Police say he pushed that girl up against this concrete wall and raped her. Problem for Turner, there is a high-definition camera right above this crime scene. Turner arrested on the spot. He is now charged as an adult. Friday date night at the Regal Cinemas in downtown Rockville. When the movie ended, police say 16-year-old Marquise Turner wanted more. And so he allegedly pushed his date against the Montgomery County Circuit Courthouse and proceeded to rape her. It's just shocking. Prosecutors say courthouse security saw the struggle on high-definition cameras, which recorded the entire alleged rape. I I have no words for that, actually. That's just the very the stupidest thing I could probably ever, ever hear, you know? I can't believe that. Like, how stupid do you have to be? You go on a date with somebody? Big whoop. It's a movie. $10. Does that equal sex? No. Turner reportedly told detectives he was unwilling to accept no for an answer and added he was going to have intercourse regardless of her objections. Unfortunately, that's pervasive. Jean Arthur counsels victims of sexual abuse. A person at 16 even thinks to do that? I mean, it just... Like I said, it boggles my mind. I, I completely don't understand it. Turner, a sophomore at Winston Churchill High School in Potomac, lives in this apartment with his mother. Neighbors are stunned. I'm very shocked. and I think that's disturbing, but I would have never thought that he would do something like that. And this case only gets more shocking and worse. As paramedics were taking that alleged rape victim to the hospital, she stopped breathing and died. There are a number of theories floating about as to her cause of death. The toxicology results are still pending. We're live in Rockville tonight. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.